Hey chums and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be checking out an early access version of Drift 21. This is a new racing game that came out on Steam recently, and as I said, early access. So what you're going to see here is uh, probably not going to be in the final game once it's finally released. However, um, I'm a racing game fan, so I'm excited to check this out. Let's jump in, start a brand new game, haven't played even a lick of this yet. If you're playing Drift 21 for the first time, we suggest starting Totoro. Would you like to start one now? I say, yeah, probably a good idea. All racing games seem to have different feels to them. It's a good idea to get in there, get a little practice in, figure out how the drifting is supposed to work. I assume with a game called uh, Drift 21, that drifting is going to be the uh, number one thing happening in this game. But we'll see, won't we? Drift 21 is an early access game. This means that what you are playing now is not the final game. Did I mention that? Deja vu? Uh, let's see. Additional content will be added in the next few months. If you have any problems or suggestions, please let us know in our Steam forums. Drift 21 works thanks to you. We hope you have fun drifting with us. I hope I do too. Would really like a nice, new, fun racing game for sure, especially a new series of racing games. I feel like it's the same racing games all the time. You know, it's Forza, it's Dirt, Mario Kart. Uh, I'm sure I'm leaving a few out there. Gran Turismo, uh, Need for Speed. That's really about it that I could think of off the top of my head. I'm sure there's more, but like it's the same few series all the time. So it'd be good to have a new one. So, welcome to Minami. We have prepared a special challenge for you that will allow you to test your skills and capabilities of your car. Your task will be to finish the track in the shortest possible time. Sounds about right. All right, so we got a handbrake. We got to gear up. We got to gear down. We got a clutch. Uh, we got hazard lights. If you press them, you use the hazard, hazard lights. That's pretty fun. Um, so gear up, gear down, turn, press in for lights. Let's see. Up is for change camera. Okay, I was going to say, I don't normally play racing games in, you know, cockpit or driver view, so uh, hopefully uh, we can change that up a bit here. Uh, so it says, however, if you want to try your hand at drifting, check the hints menu. You can find lots of valuable informations there. I love informations. It will be available after you pause the game. Familiarize yourself with the default controls or customize them as you like. I, I love... This reminds me of... Uh, you know, going to like Target or Walmart or something back in the day when I was a kid, when they had like Xboxes and PS2 set up and they had those, you know, or even if you were playing a demo at home on a demo desk and they had those gigantic, you know, uh, displays where they would show you what the buttons did for a game or whatever. This is that kind of thing. It's like, here, quickly, memorize it. And you're just like, uh, all right, let's get into it, shall we? All right, change the camera. Here we go. I'm gonna... There we go. Woo! I feel like I'm getting some weird... Getting some weird sound stuff going on here. But also, if you look at the car, the car's got kind of a weird, like, reflecting thing going on around it. really throwing me off. Alright, we completed all the things. Whatever that might mean. Well done, you received the trophy. Now head to the garage to continue the tutorial. Okay. Uh, back to garage. Are you sure you want to quit to the garage? Yes. Yeah, I guess the, uh, the, the sputtering sound is supposed to be like your... Uh, that's where I, I should be gearing up with the car. I didn't really have a t have time to, though, because it's not like we had a long straightaway where I could do that or whatever. Um, but the sputtery almost sounds like the, the, the track is skipping. It doesn't sound all that great. In the garage, you will be able to create your dream drift car. You can import new parts, modify car components, check its power, and give your car a unique character in the paint booth. Uh, let's start from the beginning, though. Your Mazda MX-5 is ready for the next step. Oh, so we can pause, we can tilt, move, press to toggle walking, open context menu, show missing parts, back. Okay, continue. All right, so here we are. 
All right, so approach the car, select drift setup from the context menu. All right. Uh... Oh, that's what that is. So if you hit L3, like I'm running around the garage right now like a maniac, but if we hit L3, now just casually kind of stroll about the place. All right, approach the car, select drift setup A. Your car will receive basic modifications to the suspension and braking system, which you can improve yourself. The modifications will also reduce the weight of the vehicle and improve safety during competitions, thanks to the roll cage. Fill in the missing parts as you wish. Select the interior of the car and its most important element, the engine. That is its most important element, I guess, isn't it? I never really thought of it that way. Maybe the tires? The tires are the most important because even if you have a really good engine, the car's not going anywhere without tires, right? Experiment with configurations and find out which one suits you best. Uh, yes? Is that a question? Adapt the car to your needs by installing the engine, exhaust, and interior. You can find a list of missing parts in the car perimeters or parameters menu. Open the warehouse from the context menu and buy a complete engine. Okay. Context menu garage. Uh, let's see. Open virtual garage. No, we want open warehouse. Buy an engine. We have 35,000 credits. What do we get? Engine 14 or engine 16? 16 is higher, so let's go with that one. Yes. Approach the engine and select move engine to Mazda whatever. Okay. What if I don't have that? I see show missing parts. Hold to unmount. Wait, what am I? Oh, you're selecting different parts. That's interesting. This open warehouse. There we go. Move to there. Okay. So you're going to be using that little context menu a lot. They should really call it like the, the warehouse wheel or something like that. Context menu feels so like uniform and like formal uh install the seats in the car okay so we hit take part and mount part okay all right this is okay i, I get i get what they're doing here this is kind of fun putting your car together with different parts and stuff that's pretty fun open warehouse and buy missing interior parts okay We need a gear shift knob. Which one do we get? Which one is super cool? The skull is super cool. All right, what, how do we know what we're on? That's interior, okay. All right, so it actually lists gear shift knob, I see, okay. So we need a handbrake lever. Let's find a cool, and we need a steering wheel. Let's check out the steering wheels. Ah, no chain steering wheels. I was hoping to get like a, <laughs> cool like 70s chain steering wheel or something like that um i don't know let's go with this one so then you you pick it up and then you put it in the car okay that's cool i like i dig that um we have to go back to the contacts menu open warehouse um yeah we're going with the skull thing i like it it's cool and of course we have to install it there we go installed and we need the handbrake lever so let's pick one of those um how about this one it's something i'm probably never going to see while i'm driving but whatever approach the car select move to car lift from the contacts menu use lift buttons to adjust the height of the car Man, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna do this once, and I'm never gonna do it again because I'm not gonna be able to remember how to do it. Oh man. Wee. Okay. Okay. Go under it now. Go up just a little more. Enable missing parts mode using E or Y pad button. Okay. By selecting show missing parts, you can quickly and efficiently find missing items. This option is extremely useful when assembling your engines. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so it would seem we need to find 
Okay, so you could actually find appropriate part just by clicking on it. Yes. Okay, that's cool. I dig that. And... Oh, wait, did I not put it in? There we go, mount part. Perfect. Okay. Now we got this piece. Purchase, yes. Mount it, okay. Normal, long, and short. I'm not sure that this matters either. They're all the same. So this is where I get into my, my car dummy scenario here because I don't, I don't know cars all that well. I know that I like racing cars and games, but like when it comes to customizing cars and stuff, I, I don't know the difference between a lot of these parts. So I'm just going for it here, guys. We need an upper radiator hose, which I believe we need to take this thing back down. It says upper. The button is kind of finicky, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, I can see it right there. Upper radiator hose is like, yep, there it is. Purchase, yes. Mount it. Approach the car, select car parameters. Dyno is a place where you could check the performance of your drift car. If the car is complete, then you could quickly check its power and the torque by selecting Run Dyno. However, if the car is incomplete, then the list of missing parts can be found on the right side of the screen. Now, let's see what the power... Let's see what power the engine has. Yeah, let's do it. Run it. And press Stage View to check turning capabilities of this car. Okay, in the Stages window, you will be able to check this check which parts need to be replaced in the car to improve its parameters. Some of the challenges can only be completed with a car that is at the proper level. Makes sense. All right, so it's like a small turbo. Okay. Approach the car, select driving setup. Welcome to the driving menu. From here, you can go directly to the track. Each of the menu tiles will allow you to adjust conditions such as car, track, mode, and separate challenges for each mode. Okay. Experiment with different cars, settings, and test your skills and challenges. Good luck. Okay, it looks like we are in the game. Let's just start with whatever the default settings are here. I'm, I'm curious to see uh, how this is all going to turn out. Oh my god. They were just like, go. They didn't give it countdown or anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I, I geared up. <laughs> All right, I geared back down. All right. I geared up, but the car just like completely went out of control there. All right, where the hell, where the hell are we going? Okay. Wow, that was really bad. That was really bad. Challenge fail. Let's uh, let's retry that. Oh, 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 oh see, that's what I'm talking about right there, spinning out. Why does my car just keep... My car com is completely, like, out of control here. Like, as soon as I... Hmm. As soon as I speed up, if I... I'm gonna... By the way, I'm gonna turn the, uh... Oops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to hit the old microphone. But I gotta turn this volume down. This is Gotta be pretty loud here. Okay. We have turned down just a bit back to the game um yeah every time i shift up uh the car just goes completely wonky so here we go shift up so i'm doing okay now shift down so i guess we want to take this turn at one All right, hey, we got a little bit of error there. What do you think of that? Challenge failed again. 
So what, what am I, what am I, what is the challenge here? What am I, where is the challenge? It's a time attack, so I guess I'm just not doing it fast enough. Okay, interesting. I feel like I'm going pretty fast. Okay, so I got a drift there, but it ain't it ain't working. Hold on, let's let's retry this. Drift, drift. Okay, yeah, I can see the drifting completely go away there for whatever reason. What are the controls again? Let's see. All right, steering, range, brake is left trigger, clutch, handbrake is B. Okay, clutch is A, okay, so B. Okay, so let's try this again. So we wanna hit this. Yeah. Nope, man. This is hard to get a handle on the scar, I gotta be honest. I don't know if it's too realistic or not realistic enough. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I just get, it just gets a, a tad too touchy. And there's nothing I can do. Where is the... I see the car just... Really, just spins right out. Whew! This thing is hard to control. I, <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, let's go back to settings. I. Uh... Here we go. Steering limit assist. Steering direction assist. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, automatic clutch press when handbrake. Engine stall. Auxiliary challenge markers. Show part names in garage. Actually, that might be helpful. Fill the marked selection with color. What? What does that mean? All right, so these assists were on. Let's try to see what happens if I turn the assists off. Whoa, whoa, oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> what happened right there? The car just started to like fly or something. Okay, shift up, shift up. Oh, jeez. Why is it that the car... Why is it that the car freaks out when I shift up a little bit? Wow, okay. Let's uh, check out hints. The hints are your controls. Dr drift hints. One of the easiest ways to initiate drift is to use the handbrake. Got it. I hit the handbrake. Once you initiate a drift, you need to smoothly operate the gas and steering wheel to keep the car going sideways. Makes sense. In drifting, it is important to feel the car and its balance. If you often spin out, try using less gas and or more counter steering. Okay. Transitions are one of the hardest parts of drifting because they happen very quickly and it's easy to make a mistake. The easiest way to end a drift is let go of the gas and allow the car to slowly return to driving straight. Okay. Let's go back to our settings. Let's turn these assists back on because obviously we need them. Whew. Okay, shift up to two. I, guys, I am barely touching the gas. So I don't know if I gotta hold, I gotta hold onto it the whole drift through or what. Okay, up to two. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so we we had a very light touch on it right there, and then we lost the drift. 
Wow. The learning curve on it trying to drift this car is quite insane. They are, they are making like a... They wanted this to be as realistic as possible. Ah, okay, that was my best drift. I'm still drifting. Okay, that's a pretty good drift point, I gotta say. Oh wow, and if you even hit those little cone, uh, those little cones there, it's like, yeah, nah. Sorry. <laughs> You're not getting your drift points. Wow. Challenge failed again. I am, um, I am legit terrible at this. Wow. I'm really, really, really bad at drifting the car. I want to drive a cool car like that. Like, this Mazda I got's fine, but come on. All right, uh, let's see. We got time attack. We got free ride. All right, let's go with free ride. Let's pick a different track here. Looks like everything they got so far is in Japan. Let's let's pick this track. And is this the only car I get? All right, context menu. What do we got here? Go to driving setup. So I can buy a bunch of stuff for the Mazda, but I don't actually see any other cars in the menu. Um, there we go, buy a new car, yes. How much we gotta pay for that? That's what I wanna know. I want the sweet car. All right, you can get a Nissan, we already got a Mazda, you can get the cool looking Subaru. How many credits you need for these guys? 25,000, so I could just barely afford the Subaru. The Nissan was 14, the Mazda's 12. <laughs> let me, uh, let me go back to the garage here. Let me see if there are other parts I can buy for my Mazda to make it look cool, because I might be able to buy different body or a different spoiler look or something like that, maybe? I don't know. Let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Context. Open warehouse. Okay, engine, pipes. We've got the gearbox. So I'm using engine 16. We have a pressure plate performance, and they did say in the menu that depending on what parts you have, that's how good your car will run. So that is something to keep in mind, too. Here's parts for the other cars. I don't need those, though. I do see that there's a filter uh, menu. Let's see. We only want it for the Mazda. There we go. Okay, so... This is all stuff we already got. That's nothing important, really. Suspension, steering. Oh, you can get something much better for steering, it looks like. One for, we have basics, so you can do one for sport. So let's go ahead and purchase that. Yes. Uh, hold on. Drop part. <laughs> Open. Grab part. Um... Per perhaps we put, <laughs> perhaps we got to put the car on the lift again. All right, so this is the steering knuckle. Okay. Um... I'm just kind of poking around here, seeing what's around. Fuel tank, battery. Uh, 
we have the intake manifold. Here's the ECU. All right, so maybe I guess this thing's got to go up, maybe. Ah, look. Spoiler. That's what we want. Purchase, yes. Look at that. Oh, nope, we got to place it. There we go. There's the engines, suspension stuff, all that stuff. So the, the steering knuckle I thought you'd be able to reach from the top area up here. Like behind where the steering wheel goes in, like in there. Do we need to get in up in here somewhere? Okay, so we can unmount the steering wheel, drop that. Hmm. Let's go back. Can I, is there a way for me to, I guess we could find this part here. There we go. I have find missing parts turned on. So that means like it's going to highlight areas where we need to buy parts for. It's interesting that it doesn't actually buy both sides for this thing. That's weird. Which is why it gave me the option to get the spoiler. Which is cool. Uh, bumper type 1. Hmm. Ah, oh, I see. So you can find different parts just like that. So if we want to improve that, we go to yes. Hey, look at that. So this part we can just drop there, whatever. So we got a two-tone car thing going on here, which is kind of interesting. So if we hit that and go to find different parts, purchase that, we will replace it. We will drop that. Still got to find where the knuckle goes. <laughs> All right. Um, Still have not solved that issue yet. There's the pedals. Is there a way to like kind of see in there a little bit? Like, do I need to remove the engine or the intake manifold or something like that? Move engine to stand. Let's do that. Okay, uh, hold to unmount. Oh yeah, you so you could like, looks like you could pull all this stuff out. This does not give you the option to unmount it though. But I could, you could completely take your car apart here if you, if you really want, which I'm kind of afraid to do so because I feel like I'll completely forget how it's supposed to go together. Um... It's weird that it tells asked me to move engine to stand. You should remove the gearbox first. Okay, that's why it wouldn't let me do it previously, I see. I remove the ECU. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Alright, so where Hmm. I am not sure. <laughs> There's the brake servo, water pump. Like I said, guys, as a uh, non-car guy, like I am currently now, uh, trying to figure out where all this stuff is at. It says remove the gearbox. Here's the engine block. Yeah, I keep saying you should remove the gearbox first. Okay. So wh where is that? Where where can I get to that? Is it underneath?
That's the oil pan. Oil, wait, I saw steering rack. All right, so there's steering rack. I don't really care about taking the engine out if I could just get the steering knuckle in there, you know? Ah, gearbox normal. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and unmount that. Let's drop the part. So now we can go here. Uh, we moved it to the stand. There it is. Okay, so now you could work on the engine and do different parts for that, which is kind of cool. Okay, glad I figured that out finally. Never said I was a pro at this, so don't hold, <laughs> don't hold me to it. Uh, we're going to go back up. Okay, and... Um, I'm still not seeing how I'm going to get to that. Okay, well, you know what? Why don't we just improve the engine a bit, if we can. That's just a cover, alternator, nah. I am not too worried about it. Let's just... Let's just put it back in. Let's try some racing with some of the parts we just put in. We'll see what happens. Uh, context menu, move engine back to car. Uh, let's pick up our gearbox. And we will pop it back in. It has been mounted. Let's bring our car down. Great, okay, so that's just that, blah, blah, blah. Gonna kinda need this. Just a thought. Could be wrong. Maybe we don't. All right. Let's do the whole... Uh, I think we got to go up to the car first, maybe. Yep. Car parameters. Let's go ahead and run the dyno thing. Exactly the same. I only I did only just put a spoiler and a couple other little things on it, so I wouldn't expect any of it to be. Oh, we could put a turbo on it. <laughs> you know, if I could find out where it's supposed to go, that's the. <laughs> Let's try this again. Uh... Like in the tutorial, I wish it would kind of highlight where the parts are supposed to go. Am I just not seeing it? How about it? Hmm. Perhaps we just need to take the engine off, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we'll take that off again. And context, move engine to stand. Here is our turbocharger. Hmm, and I don't see where this is gonna go. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know, guys. I don't know, cars. I tried. I really did. I, I don't know where it's supposed to go. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's move the engine back in. I, I don't know. I, I don't know this stuff. It would be nice, though, if they had, like, little tutorials in there for someone who may not know, you know, how cars work. You know, where stuff can go. I know they have certain games like that that actually, you know, you can learn more about cars, you know, how to build them and that kind of thing. Turbocharger's supposed to go back here? Oh, well. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just... Let's just take this thing on the road. Let's go back and drive a bit more. What do you say? Okay, let's go ahead and just 
We're going to free drive on this track here and see how we do. Nothing about the car has changed really, so probably not great. Had to gear up into first gear. Okay, second gear. Whew. Yeah, if you're looking for a game to give you, like, what I'm assuming they're, they're claiming to be, like, spot-on realistic, or at least more realistic driving, then that is definitely what you're going to get here. That's for sure. I feel like the tracks are really, really small. Like, I kind of want just, like, a big open-ended area to, like, mess around in, and this, these tracks seem very, very tiny. Oh, we had, we had a drift going, and then I spun out. Is there a reverse? It would not seem... Man, it is going to take me a bit to kind of get used to the control of this car, for sure. I I don't know if I can get used to it. Really wish I could have got that turbocharger in, that's for sure. Whew. Okay, this is, this is, uh... Definitely more uh, than I was expecting. It's going to reverse. There, okay, you actually got to shift to reverse, that's why. This game is definitely a bit more than I was expecting, for sure. Okay, let's try drifting around here. Yeah, still spinning out. Well, interesting. It's actually a pretty game, too. Like, the mountains and the track and everything look really, really good. But I'm still getting, like, a real weird, like, ripple effect off of the car in the background. Can you see, like, if you look behind the car's fender, you can kind of see, like, it looks like there's, like, a weird wavy effect around it, which is really strange. All right, let's go back into cockpit view here and just do a little bit of this. Up, up, up. Yeah! Where did we go? <laughs> I was like, I want to take this at, like, full speed here and see what happens. It doesn't look like that is a thing you could really do, though. Oh, you can go over here. I found a secret. Alright. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for Drift 21 today. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Trends because we come out with fun Let's Plays like this all the time and other gameplay videos, too. And, of course, don't forget to... Uh, well, I'm just kind of rolling here, aren't I? Not in neutral. Now I'm in neutral. Now we're in reverse. Oh, we're just coasting. We're just coasting. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my own personal uh, YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash watch GGRC because I come out with other gameplay related videos like reviews and, and funny videos and stuff like that all the time as well there. So if you like this, I think you'll like what I do over there as well. Uh, but guys, I want to say thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you all next time.